Have you ever wondered why you feel less competent when comparing yourself to others? This feeling might be more common than you think, especially in today's hyper-connected digital world, where every success and achievement gets broadcasted globally. It's no surprise that we often feel like there's always someone richer, more successful, more beautiful, or more talented out there. This constant bombardment of comparisons can make us feel like we're always falling short, that we're perpetually stuck in mediocrity. But why do we feel this way? It's because we're playing an unfair game. We're comparing our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. It's like trying to win a race while constantly looking sideways. No wonder we stumble. But what if we change our perspective? What if we shift our focus from others to ourselves? Here's where rule four of Peterson's book comes into play. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. Often we trap ourselves in a binary system of thinking. We tend to view our lives, our successes, and our failures as if they exist in a world of black and white. But life is not a simple game of win or lose. It's a complex tapestry with different threads representing different aspects of our lives. We can excel in one domain and struggle in another, and that's perfectly normal. We don't need to be the best at everything. Instead, we should appreciate the domains we are good at and strive to improve in those we aren't. We should also remember that success isn't always about winning or losing. Sometimes it's about learning, growing, and evolving. It's about appreciating the journey, not just the destination. So let's stop boxing ourselves into the binary system of thinking. The key isn't to win at everything, but to appreciate the games we do win. Welcome to Psych Insight, where we examine the concept of comparison through the lens of psychology. There's a time and place for comparison, but it's not with others. In our youth, comparisons are crucial in learning societal norms and finding our footing in the world. As we mature into our individual selves, though, the perspective changes. The focus should be on being better than who we were yesterday, rather than trying to match someone else's today. This isn't a call for self-deprecation or judgment, but for self-awareness. It's about identifying our flaws and working to improve them, waking up every day with an aim to be better than the previous one. Small, daily self-improvements lead to significant results over time. This is not about conforming to societal standards, but about personal growth. By focusing on self-improvement, we can make incremental changes that lead to better results. If our insights resonate with you, please share, like, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for joining us today at Psych Insight. When we focus too heavily on specific goals, we risk losing sight of the bigger picture. This tunnel vision can indeed be a pitfall. Our attention, just like our time and energy, is a limited resource. We must choose wisely where we direct it. While our targets are important, becoming overly fixated on them can blind us to the richness of our surroundings and the multitude of opportunities that life offers. It's like walking down a beautiful winding path with our eyes glued to a single point on the horizon, oblivious to the marvels along the way. When problems arise, this lack of broader perspective can cause us to feel overwhelmed, lost even. We may find ourselves standing before the very thing we desire, yet unable to recognize it because our focus is elsewhere. Remember, it's not about achieving everything we want, but about maintaining a balanced perspective, a wider vision that allows us to appreciate and navigate the full spectrum of our lives. So what does Rule 4 truly mean for us? Well, it's a powerful reminder that our worth is not determined by external standards of success, but by our personal growth. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others, especially in this digital age. But remember, we're all on unique journeys. Our victories, no matter how small, are still victories. Celebrate them. The secret to moving forward is being mindful of our desires, articulating them, prioritizing, and organizing them. This process helps us understand what truly matters to us and where we should direct our energy. Furthermore, it's crucial to pay attention to our internal and external surroundings. Identify the things that bother you, the things that need fixing, then roll up your sleeves and get to work. Every small improvement brings us one step closer to our better selves. Remember, the only person you should strive to be better than is the person you were yesterday.